what he looks like. People are angry, and they're right to be angry. This is grassroots. No one was bought here. That anger can be used online, uh, in neighborhoods, to get change when people see how change is really created. I'm Jamie Court. I wrote The Progressive's Guide to Raising Hell because I'm mad as hell and I don't think any of us should have to take it again. It is not okay! The book will teach you how to turn your anger into change. It will teach you how to expose and confront injustice. I wanted to teach people how politics works from the inside out, the strategies, the tactics, and how they can pressure the right pressure points and the right decision makers in the right way to get the change they wanted. The only thing better than, than seeing change happen is knowing you were a part of it. A great example of, of how you can go online and make change. A father who finds that his uh, son's living in deplorable conditions in Fort Bragg when he comes back from war and shows a YouTube video of how bad and how, how uh, dilapidated the barracks are and puts it on YouTube. The shoddy conditions were exposed in a video posted on the internet. It got wildly popular. The Army had to take notice. They changed the conditions at Fort Bragg very quickly. The Secretary of the Army acknowledged today conditions at Fort Bragg in North Carolina are unacceptable and he promised the barracks will be fixed up. The book uh, drives home some simple step-by-step -step uh, battle-proven tactics to get your message out online and offline. If we have the right idea at the right time and it's communicated in the right way. We had a woman named Dana. I called this campaign the Dana versus Goliath campaign. Dana was a woman who lost her husband to cancer and had a very bad insurance policy. Her late husband's cancer-related medical bills left her about a half million dollars in debt despite the fact that he had insurance. We found out the coverage we were promised wasn't there. They wanted uh, to pass a bill in Congress allowing more of these types of junk insurance policies and Dana didn't want that to happen. So she went to Washington, she told her story, and uh, stood up with Senator Kennedy and others, stopped the bill in its track just by the force of her own story. I want people to know what these companies do. My husband said to me one day, it may be too late for me, but this should not happen to people, and I agree. If you read this book, you'll know the next time you get really angry about politics or corporate policy, what you can do about it. You'll know how to fight back, you'll know how to win. There is a coming progressive rebellion and you can be part of it. We can all raise hell together.